Today, we're going to be talking about high functioning depression and make sure that you stay tuned to this entire video for an exciting announcement towards the end. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And welcome back to another video where we are diving deep into the topic of depression. And today we're gonna to be talking about high functioning depression, which is a very, very important subject because some people go years of their life without realizing that it's even there because they're out and about and they're doing things. So. Real quick, like there's not an actual diagnosis for high functioning depression, but it's typically referred to as dysthymia. So high functioning depression is kind of just another term for dysthymia. So please, please, please do me a favor and share this video because we need to let people know that there are people walking around, going to work every day or going to school and they're struggling with something like dysthymia and nobody even knows. So this video might be able to help educate some people. But by sharing this video, you might be able to set off a little red flag in the person's brain and make them say, oh, maybe I'm struggling with that and I need to go seek help. So let's jump straight into this and let's talk about the six signs of high functioning depression. The first sign of high functioning depression is being constantly tired. You just feel exhausted. Even though you're going about your day, you're constantly tired. Now, this is a, a symptom of regular like depression or major depressive disorder. And we'll talk a little bit more about this later and why this might happen. But if you feel like you're just lacking energy and you don't have as much energy as you used to, this can be a sign of high functioning depression. Sign number two is difficulty concentrating. So if you're doing things like working and your mind's constantly wandering or you're reading a book or even watching a TV show or a movie, like sometimes you'll have to like go back in your book and be like, oh my God, I just read like five or 10 pages. I don't even know what I just read. Or if you just find yourself getting lost in movies or TV shows and you're constantly having to uh, rewind, this can be a symptom of high functioning depression. So number three is is avoiding social situations. So if any of you have been tuning in, if you've been watching my videos, isolation is terrible for depression. It fuels depression. It makes depression and anxiety so much worse. But if you find that you have, are purposely avoiding situations, and some of this can be because you just feel so tired and so exhausted, you just don't have the energy to be around other people because you feel completely drained. Or it's just a lot of negative self-talk, like people don't wanna be around you and things like that. Number four is a huge one, okay? These are unhealthy coping skills, all right? So if you find that because of your funks, because of your depression, depression, because of your sadness, because of your loneliness, if you are turning to unhealthy coping skills. This can include alcohol or drug abuse, unhealthy sexual behaviors, it can involve binge eating, anything that is not healthy for you. These are toxic behaviors. And this is when like, you really need to start seeking help because if you're starting to notice that you're turning to unhealthy behaviors, like if you watch any of my other videos about how habits are formed, like it is so much easier to treat your mental illness when you're in the early stages of these unhealthy coping skills rather than later. By working with somebody else, you can start developing healthy coping behaviors and this will actually help you get out of your depression and start living a better life. So number five is constantly worrying about the past or the future. Like, do you ever get stuck in your head or sometimes you're just like, you remember something from weeks, months, or even years ago and you're like, I can't believe I said that, I can't believe I did that. Like, if your brain is latch latching on to these thoughts from the past, like this is a major, major sign. Or you're future tripping, you're worrying about what's gonna happen, where's your job going to go? Where, what are you doing with your life? How are your relationships gonna turn out? Are you gonna be alone forever? And this goes back to symptom number one. Latching on to the past or the future is something that can really mess with your sleep. So if you're laying in bed, just constantly thinking about the past or the future, this might be a major sign of high functioning depression. And lastly, number six is that you are extra irritable, all right? Just everything is frustrating you, annoying you. Like I used to live in this constantly. One of the reasons I avoided social situations was because I was just extra irritable. Just being around people just completely frustrated me. Being drained, I wasn't able, like my 
ability to deal with the BS like was just non-existent, all right? So if you are struggling with being just extra irritable, really frustrated just constantly, this might be another sign of dysthymia. All right, so those are the six signs of high functioning depression. And like I said, if you think that you are struggling with this, there is help available. One of the first steps that you can do is like simply see your like your regular doctor, like your regular doctor. Go see them, tell them about your symptoms, tell them what's going on, and they might be able to guide you in the right direction. I am on an antidepressant medication called Lexapro, and this is actually prescribed by my normal regular doctor. It's not from a psychiatrist or anything like that. Doctors can prescribe certain things, but not others. So talk to your doctor. But if you feel like your depression is really bad and you need to talk to a mental health professional, go ahead and check out the link down below for BetterHelp Online Therapy. They are a very, very affordable online therapy service. And when you sign up, not only is it helping you, but it also helps to support the channel. So again, like I said, please do me a favor, share this video, share this video to help people understand that someone in their life might be struggling with dysthymia. They might be struggling with high functioning depression and they don't even realize it, or it might help somebody else realize that this is something that they have been struggling with. And lastly, for this exciting announcement, tomorrow is my birthday. I will be turning 33 years old. I will also have six years sober. So my son, my girlfriend and I are going down to Southern California to hang out with my best friend and going to my happy place, with, which is Corgi Beach Day down in Huntington Beach. I love those little doggies so much. So the announcement is, if you are not yet, please follow me on Instagram, which I will provide again right here on the screen. Follow me on Instagram, download the IGTV app, the new Instagram TV app. I'm gonna be doing some vlogging. I'm gonna be taking pictures of all these adorable little corgis and their little beach outfits. Oh, I love it so much and I cannot wait. So we are taking off as soon as I upload this video. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss any of the fun, all right? So thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Click that little round subscribe button and a big, big thank you to everybody supporting me over on P Patreon, helping me spread this message of hope for anybody struggling with their mental health. If you would like to support me on Patreon and this channel and my mission, go ahead and click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time.